From the earliest days, my son was a force to be reckoned with. A rambunctious boy who channeled his energy into mischief. Playground tales painted him as a bully, a tough kid who thrived on pushing boundaries. Yet, as a mother, I sensed a longing within him, a desire to break free from societal expectations. One day, after a particularly troublesome incident at school, I decided to delve into the root of his behavior. Deep conversations revealed a struggle, a struggle not against others, but against the confinement of stereotypes that dictated how a boy should behave. In his heart, he yearned for something different. Rather than suppressing his desires, I embraced them. The transformation began slowly. It wasn't about making my son fit a mold. It was about allowing him to discover his authentic self. Ballet became the unexpected path, a world where grace and strength intertwined seamlessly. As he donned his first pair of ballet shoes, a metamorphosis unfolded. The once defiant boy found solace in the delicate movements of a ballerina girl. His aggression melted away, replaced by the elegance of leaps and pirouettes. It was a revelation, a journey of self-discovery that challenged societal norms. The whispers of judgment and skepticism surrounded us, but I stood firm, knowing that my decision came from a place of love. As he gracefully twirled across the stage, I witnessed not just a performance but the blossoming of a soul set free. My son, once a bully confined by stereotypes, had become a ballerina girl, breaking barriers with every dance. In every pirouette, I saw resilience. In every leap, I saw courage. And in every bow, I saw authenticity. My son had transformed not just from a bully to a ballerina girl, but from societal constraints to self-expression. And in that transformation, he found not only acceptance but also the strength to defy expectations and dance to the rhythm of his own heart. As my son embraced his newfound passion for ballet, the journey unfolded into a tapestry of growth and self-acceptance. The dance studio became his sanctuary, a space where he could express himself freely without the weight of societal judgments. In the delicate tutus and soft ballet slippers, he found a form of liberation. The rigid constraints of gender norms crumbled as he twirled and leapt with grace. His transformation into a ballerina girl was not just about mastering dance techniques. It was a celebration of identity, a defiance against the limitations imposed by a world that often struggled to comprehend such unconventional choices. The recitals became milestones, moments where he showcased not only his dance prowess but also the strength to be true to himself. The audience witnessed a story told through the language of movement. While some questioned my parenting choices, others marveled at the courage my son displayed. He became an unintentional ambassador for diversity and self-expression. As a mother, my heart swelled with pride each time he graced the stage. Our journey was not without challenges. Discrimination and prejudice lurked in the shadows, but my son faced them with a determination forged through years of self-discovery. The dance community, surprisingly open-minded, became a source of support and camaraderie, proving that acceptance could be found in unexpected places. As the years passed, my son's story resonated beyond the dance studio. He became an inspiration for others grappling with their identity, showing that the path to self-discovery is unique and valid. The boy who was once a bully had transformed into a resilient ballerina girl, leaving a trail of acceptance and empowerment in his wake.